Coming up next, we're going through time and space with Doctor Who, Alan Z. Hey, comic enthusiasts and pop culture lovers, I'm Ashley. Sup, nerds, I'm Ryan. And together, we are... Couple, Couple of, of Nerds! Sup, nerds! So today, we're going to be talking about something awesome! Oh, yeah. It's the best thing ever. It's one of my favorite sci-fi series other than Star Trek and Star Wars. And that would be Doctor Who! Yeah, one of the longest, I think, is it the longest-running sci-fi series? It is one of the longest. It's about almost the same length as Star Trek. Okay! And um, it's, it's been around forever. And the reason why we're talking about Doctor Who is because usually Doctor Who... When they start their new series, they start it usually on Christmas. And so we're going to be doing it as we end the year. So, because yeah. this is kind of a cool thing with Doctor Who is because like, the actors kind of always change. And to deal with that, they have them regenerate. Mm -hmm. So they could have a new actor come in, but it's still the same character, which I think is really clever. It's really cool. So Doctor Who was actually premiered on the BBC on the 23rd of November in 1963. And then it ran till the 6th of December of 1989. And then it got revived, I think, in 2005. That's right. With Christopher Eccleston as the Doctor. Christopher Eccleston was the ninth iteration of the Doctor, right? Correct, yes. So I should probably tell everybody all the different Doctors that, they, that we've had. There's, so I think so far they're have been, like with the newest iteration, there's 15. And only one of them, Dr. Reprise has rolled twice. And that would be David Tennant. Uh, he's my favorite and he's- He's your... my favorite too. Yeah. He's almost everyone's favorite. He's the most iconic. So far, everybody associates David Tennant with Doctor Who. Doctor Who is so expansive and we're gonna be just talking about the most recent stuff. Cause Doctor Who is a sci-fi show. Yeah. And it's not just sci-fi, but it's also historical as well. They go into different history bits of history and kind of put it on its put it on its head a little bit. That's a time travel show. It is time travel because he actually travel around and his time traveling police box. Yes, now this is one of the most interesting sci-fi contraptions I think to ever one of the most to ever be like thought of. Yeah. Because it's bigger on the inside yeah. and it's also disguised as a, it's an alien spaceship time machine but it's disguised as a phone booth yeah it's because its chameleon circuit is broken so yeah. it's originally it's supposed to be able to shape shift into whatever but since the chameleon circuit is broken it is always the blue police box yeah but on the inside it is so big it's like the size of what a city i think all the, there's so many rooms that within it. They all change the, it every single time. Yeah, it's the always in, changing. It, yeah, the inside changes for each different doctor. It'll it'll change itself. I love the different writing that they've done for all of this. And like, I'm sorry if you guys keep hearing little noises. It, I've just been playing around with uh, the Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. This is his weapon of choice because it actually doesn't really. He's not really a fighter. No. He fixes things. That's yeah. why he's using a screwdriver. Yeah, he a sonic screwdriver. I wouldn't say it's a weapon at all, but yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a tool. Yeah. It's a tool to do anything, and it's it's awesome. I So this is the 10th Dr. Sonic Screwdriver, because he's my favorite, so that's why I have the screwdriver. It's also a pen, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think his is a pen. His is just a screwdriver. So it's really, really cool. <laughs> it's, 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 it's almost like a magic wand. It can do pretty much anything. Yeah, he's, he's a lot like a space wizard. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Yeah, so from a couple of nerds, we're going to see you guys next year. I think you mean next time.